All right, Wolf Pack Thursday. Our partner Watt is here. I know you guys are super excited about this one just by looking at it. Um, it's got to be better than last week's 30 minutes of straight assault bikes. So at least we get a little bit of variance um, with a couple different movements. This, I feel like we've done something uh, pretty similar to this or maybe the exact same thing in the past, so it might look familiar. But if not, um, one working, one resting the entire time. We've got some pretty hefty calories on the machines. Um, for the bike and the ski tomorrow, and then we just have a few burpees, uh, a few, haha, uh, um, in between these just to kind of split them up, um, add a little bit of obviously shoulder, uh, fatigue, tricep fatigue, uh, for the ski, leg fatigue for the bike, yada, yada, yada. So, um, good goal for the assault bike is, is definitely to keep your spins short. We want to try to get through this quickly, um, not spending a ton of time on the machine, um, and getting the RPMs up, rolling over calories, hopping off, letting your partner work, so you get that good rest to work ratio. So just like we did last week, pretty much like we always do, um, shorter sets on the bike are going to uh, save you for longer. It's also going to keep your legs from being less pumped up um, for the big set of burpees in between. So 20, 30 seconds max on the machine, ramp the RPMs up, probably want to use a little bit more of your arms and your legs, save a little bit for the burpees. Um, and so you're looking at probably, you know, 20, 30 seconds, 12 to 15 calories, um, switching it out there, get those done. Bar facing burpees, uh, most likely you want to probably just do fives. You do run the risk of whoever bikes last, right? And whoever skis last is probably going to get less rest going into the burpees. So whoever does, say you're doing tens, whoever does 80 to, uh, the 80 for guys, 80 cal to 90 cal gets to rest for about 30 seconds while the other partner does uh, the 90 to 100 cals. And if you only do five burpees, right, that person who's rested for 30 seconds feels pretty good. The person who just got off the bike gets like 10 seconds of rest and then they have to do burpees. So it might be advantageous to um, do a bigger set on your first set of burpees just so you can give that person who was on the machine uh, a little bit extra rest. Maybe you do 10s for the first set and then go to 5s. That way you have a little bit more rest. But either way, um, whoever ends up on the bike or ends up on the last set of the bike in the ski is going to have a little bit less rest. So if you guys can somehow flip-flop that, um, it probably would be even, but it's kind of hard to, to plan for that. So either way, uh, pick burpee counts that you can keep your speed up um, and you don't have to work for so long that your burpees start to get slow and sluggish. So um, you can break these up in sets uh, where you can maintain speed once the speed kind of slows down switch and then go on from there so i think you know you're looking at probably four or five minutes excuse me for the first one here hopefully we can get through 15 or so 20 a minute two and a half three minutes here eight minutes this is going to be at least five minutes 13 another three to four what is that 17 18 so looking for one round getting into the second round getting as many uh reps and calories as we can would be a good goal Maybe trying to finish this, finish this, and then getting into the ski erg and seeing how many calories we can get done. That would probably be a pretty good goal for um, tomorrow. But other than that, pretty straightforward. And love me some Thursday wads. I hope you guys um, eat your carbs tonight and, and come in and uh, get a good workout. And for Thursday, have a great day. See you in the gym. Bye. Uh-oh.